everyone for being here and uh, joining me today on World uh, Read Aloud Day. And so just as a little introduction to the book. So um, I was born and raised on the island of Oahu, Hawaii. And the word aloha, this, this book is Let's Live Aloha. And the word aloha was not just a greeting. It was the uh, air that I breathe. It was a philosophy that was woven into the very fabric of who I am. And aloha is about respect and compassion and how we actually live in relationship with all that surrounds us. But lately, it seems like the world have seemed to uh, forgot about the uh, healing power of aloha. And there are things that just keeps tearing us apart. And so I wrote this book um, because there is a, a, a woman and she passed away in 1985. And her name is Auntie Palahi Paki. And she said that the world will turn to Hawaii as they search for world peace because Hawaii has the key and that key is aloha. And so when I read her words, I felt a calling more like a responsibility to carry on the words of Auntie Palahi and to share the gift of aloha with everyone. And what a better way to plant the seeds of aloha than in the hearts and minds of all the children, especially all you little children that are here. So I see the book, Let's Live Aloha, as a medicine, as a salve for the wounds of unkindness that we experience in the world. So I hope that through these pages, the next generation will embrace the spirit of aloha and become ambassadors of kindness, understanding, and unity. And so this is my uh, humble offering, a ripple of hope for a world where aloha truly blossoms, healing the hearts and reminding us of the beauty and treating each other with respect and love. So seeing your faces here tonight fills me with so much joy and gratitude. It means that you value the power of stories to inspire and educate and that you believe in the importance of fostering positive growth in our children. And also the journey of this book, I couldn't do it alone. It takes a village and all of you are a crucial part of this village. And your presence here tonight is not just an act of support. It's a vote of confidence in the message that I hope to share. So as I bring you Let's Live Aloha uh, to life with words and hopefully a little bit of magic, I invite you to open your hearts and your minds. And after the reading, I'm eager to answer any questions that you might have. So don't hesitate to ask, to share your thoughts. And again, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. So let's go ahead and dive into the book. Right, let's see. All right, here's the book. It's a Let's Live Aloha. And this book is dedicated to my grandchildren, Lyric, Kaimana, and Kupiolani. Aloha, friends. My name is Dr. G. And I'd like to teach you about my favorite word. Aloha is a powerful word that comes from the islands of Hawaii and has many beautiful meanings. Aloha can mean hello, goodbye, and even love. Aloha is a word that teaches us how to live. 
Living aloha creates kindness, peace, and love in our homes, schools, towns, and cities by creating these ways of being within ourselves. So would you all like to learn to live aloha? Raise your hands if you like to live aloha. Living aloha means that we are kind to our friends and think about their feelings, just as we would like them to do for us. We say kind words to our friends like, good job and thank you, to show our care and appreciation for them. When we do this, it makes us happy and makes our friends happy too. I made up a fun game to help me remember how to be friendly, make new friends, and live aloha every day. Would you like to learn my game of A-L-O-H-A so you can live aloha too? Thumbs up. It starts with A. A is to ask. When you are curious about something like a new friend or a different way of doing things, it's good to ask questions. This way you can learn more and find out all kinds of interesting things. So what fun or interesting questions have you asked today? L is to listen. Listening is just as powerful as asking. When you learn to listen, you hear other people's stories, ideas, and the lessons they have to teach you. We show that we care when we listen to others by helping them feel heard, just like how you are listening to my story right now. And that makes me feel good. So thanks, friends. O is to observe. Observing is like being a super scientist. You can observe how your tummy flip flops when you're nervous. You can observe how your heart beats faster when you're excited. And it's your body's way of telling you how it's feeling. All you have to do is observe. And I'll show you how. So let's all close our eyes for three deep breaths and ask silently to yourself, how am I feeling right now? So we're going to inhale through our nose and exhale through our mouths. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now listen for the answers by observing what your body is telling you. And how does your body feel? H is for heart. The heart is where all your kindness, peace, and love reside. When you share these feelings, you give others the superpowers of your heart. I will show you a very special way to activate your heart superpower. So let's close your eyes again and put your hand over your heart. With your hands on your heart, think of something you are thankful for, like someone who loves you or warm cookies or the giggles of your best friend when you make silly faces. So silently think to yourself, I am thankful for... Think of the things that you are thankful for or someone that you are thankful for. All right, have you got it? Okay, 
Hold that feeling and imagine it filling your heart like a balloon full of sunshine. Hold your gratitude as we take three long deep breaths together. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Ready? Here we go. In. And out. Again. In. And out. One more time. In. And out. Now, how is your body feeling now? And how does your heart feel? What is that special thing that you feel in your heart? A is for adapt. Adapt means to make change in your behavior, attitude, or how you think of others. It's how you grow on the inside. When you ask good questions, Truly listen to yourself and others. Observe how your body responds and stay in your heart. Then you're ready to adapt to new things. So how has my story of Aloha influenced your ability to adapt in some way? Ask, listen, observe, heart, and adapt. Every day is a chance to share aloha with others. Every kind word, caring act, and understanding of someone's feelings spreads the power of living aloha. Do you all want to live aloha with me? Raise your hands. Do you all want to live aloha? Yay! Okay, so now I'm going to ask you to unmute yourself and let's say it all together. All right? You ready? I want to hear it really, really loud. Aloha. 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 <laughs> one more time. One more time. Ready? Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with me. On-